What's up guys, we back with another video. Today we're gonna be working on my dad's truck. We got another sponsored video. This video was sponsored by Saikang. Check them out, the link to their website is gonna be down in the description below. A multimedia head unit for my dad's truck. We're gonna do that install video here and give you guys a review about the product towards the end of the video. But I'm gonna let my dad say hi and I'm gonna introduce him to y'all. Here he goes. Hi. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the head unit so he didn't get one that he didn't want. He got one that he actually did like so we're going to go take a look at it before we install it. Here goes the unit. It's a 6 inch display. Android iOS so it's pretty much like a big phone. If you guys did see TJ Hunt and the new install that they did on Calvin's BRZ. This unit is kind of the same. The only difference is that it's not a 10 inch display. That's it. Nothing big, nothing major. So we're going to get on with the install. And the first thing we're going to do is going to be removing the old stereo from the dash. Here goes the old stereo we're going to be removing to put in the new Cycane in here. It's not a bad stereo. It's just not modernized like with today's multimedia stuff. On this one, you're going to be able to add on a backup camera. You got Bluetooth connectivity, you got Wi-Fi, you can mirror link your phone onto there so you can Netflix and shit. So out with the old, that was a quick removal, it shouldn't be that difficult. We already have an aftermarket stereo, it shouldn't be that hard to remove it. This one was easy, we just unclipped it off and took it out. Now we're just going to rewire the new harness onto the wiring harness and put in the new one these are the wiring instructions that Cycane gives you pretty basic so you should be able to figure out which wire goes where as long as you have knowledge of your car as to which wires go to each speaker it should be a fairly easy install and a fairly easy wiring process wiring up the harness they provided us with the wiring of the car which really shouldn't be that difficult TJ Hunt soldered his, we're actually going to be using wire nuts. It's a much quicker process since soldering is time consuming. As you guys can see, it is raining outside today and it might start to rain a little bit more and we don't want to be caught in the rain while we're working out here. So we're going to be using wire nuts to make the process a lot faster. We have the power wired and now we're going to connect it to see if the stereo turns on when we turn the key. And if it does, then we can continue to the next step, which is pretty much finding the speakers because you have no idea which wires go to where and we have success the stereo has turned on like I said it is an Android iOS which is pretty badass alright so we're pretty much good we're good to go here goes the home display and it's looking pretty badass so what we're doing is trial and error we're trying to find the speakers to have them wired up perfectly because we don't know which wires are which from the original harness of the car so what we're doing is we're trial and error trying to find out which ones are which so we can wire it up nicely Who decided to wake up? That boy woke up. Your boy. Your boy, Sai. That boy with that color shift is right there. There's cleaner in the forest. Now we're just assembling it. We're putting it back together. My dad wrapped that. Nesto. So it's already on, as you can see. Oh, you want to speak? All right. All right. Go. So like, don't worry about this. Like when, you, when you're driving, when you brake hard, it should, it should sit here. in, right? You're fucking joke, dude. <laughs> All right, so we got the unit in. It's not fully in yet. My dad's gonna put some screws on it. This thing, he already had it wrapped. It was back there. But he's not gonna keep this because it doesn't have the clips to keep on, so. What he's going to do is he's gonna wrap the other piece black and put this on. <coughs> so there it goes. The rev wrap. Fully functional. Alright, so there it goes. It's fully installed. I'm going to go through with you guys the features that it does have. If we hit the home button, you got this. This is all removable, all these widgets. You can put them anywhere. You got a lot more over here. 
if you guys want some other stuff to display on there your emails so the playback feature your maps your navigation you have a lot of other stuff you can put on 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 the home page but for right now we're going to keep it clean like that you could change the wallpaper in the background if you don't like the default you got videos you got music you can mirror link your phone which we will show you guys that in a little bit here goes the mirror link you can link your phone if it has that feature oh yeah it got this pretty cool feature but you need that uh the obd2 sensor connect at the bottom in order to sync up with this so we don't have that either so we can't show you the feature for that it does have backup camera feature but once again we don't have that for this as well since we only wanted the unit you put that bass up bruh you gotta pop my dad's speakers <laughs> <laughs> you can fix your thing if you want to be like like hella bassy just put it all the way up so you can blow them and then be that guy on the street with the trash bags flapping in they your car <laughs> the unit is pretty good it was 350 dollars so it's not a bad thing for the price that's pretty much it i'm gonna be wrapping up this video so that's gonna be the end of this video guys hopefully you guys did enjoy it please drop it a like subscribe if you haven't check them out check out side King down in the description below and i'll catch you guys in the next video deuces Man, the world needs better laws Maybe then we'll be better off I'm hoping that it comes, but it never does